vlog, man. Yes, it's not a particularly interesting day today. We haven't got anything nope. exciting planned. We are just trying to get our last shopping done. Yes. Before working the rest of the day. Yes. So we've quickly, we've literally dropped the kids off at school, haven't we? Straight to the Jumped local in the car. shopping centre. Yeah, just, and we're running around furiously. I'm the only one that's got shopping to do. But Nikki's here as my personal shopper. I am. And she's literally herding me like sheep. She's yeah. literally going, oh. payment desk over there, left, right, <laughs> left, right. <laughs> I am a professional shopper, yes. so she's taking advantage. And every today. time I quibble over things, because I get I overthink everything. So then I talk myself out of stuff, and I go, oh, I don't know, or maybe not. And then Nick will go, it's fine. That's what you need. Get it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that makes her sound really bossy, but it is exactly what just I what she need. needs. Yes. She knows what I need. So. I started off gentle, and I'm just getting and then more you bossy as the day's going work. on. Yeah. <laughs> We're well, just you. Mm, I very appreciate welcome. it. We're going and, for coffee um, now, so but we're racing through my list. Yeah, yeah, it's so, great. Uh, so let's carry on. See you in a bit. drive me to the shops, buy me coffee whilst we were there. Yes. But she basically coached me through every <laughs> present that was on my list. And other than a couple of little bits and bobs that I need to get from the supermarket, I am done. Woohoo! And this is a record. This is an absolute record for me because it's not uncommon for me to still be buying things Christmas Eve or at least the day before yeah. Christmas Eve. So I am feeling very smug. Happy lady. I haven't done any wrapping yet, and I know you've done all of yours, but yep. tonight I'm going to make a start and I'm going to put a Christmas movie on. Mm. So we're having coffee and mince pies. We are, yes. To celebrate the fact that you are Ooh, done with mince your shopping. Pies. Yes. And we're going to do a little bit of work, and hopefully, we're going to show you how to put this um, iron on transfer onto my sweatshirt. Today, yes. Which we've been promising for days. It is only going to take a couple of minutes, but we've just man never managed quite to get round to it. Yes. So today it's going to happen. Cool. So that will be coming. Hi! So we're back. We're going to do my little sweatshirt transfer. So this is the one that I've bought and it's just from eBay. And if you put in vinyl iron-on transfer into the search on eBay, you'll come up with loads. I actually bought two of them, but I just bought this one as a test. And I also just bought a really cheap men's sweatshirt. So this is a uh, medium, but you can see how big it is. And I just wanted something big and cheap to kind of test it on, just to make sure that it worked. So what we've done is I've held the sweatshirt up to my shoulders, but you can put it on. And then you want to hold the transfer on to get it at the right level. And we've made some markings for the top and the bottom just with the fabric pen. And then we're going to iron on, but we need to do a little test first. So what I've done is I've cut a little bit of the plastic off the corner and I've got a little bit of scrap fabric here. And I'm just gonna grab my iron and I'm gonna see if the plastic will melt on the iron. These now, appliques don't come with any instructions, especially yeah. the cheap ones from China. So this is kind of trial and error. I tried and failed with a few, <laughs> and now we think this is the same as the one I've used, but <laughs> we're, we're about sure. to find out. Now the iron has no water in it, but it is on hot. Is that about right? Do you yeah, want although I would turn it off just in case there's any random any... water still in there. So you I want... would just turn the steam off completely. You want no steam. And the, it's not uncommon for the plastic to kind of ripple, but you just got to make sure that it doesn't um, doesn't melt. So but it looks like it's fine. Oh, wow. So now what we're going to do is take the little cutting board and we're going to put it inside the sweatshirt. So you want it obviously 
up against the bit of the sweatshirt that you're going to be ironing onto. It doesn't have to be a cutting board, it's just you want something really flat and hard because ironing boards are a bit spongy and that stops the transfer from adhering properly. So um, you could just stick a piece of card or something else inside it. Just needs to be something flat. And I'm just trying to straighten everything out so that it's sitting nice and flat. And I've, we did bring a tea towel through or a press cloth to kind of just in case that uh, the plastic melted. And if it did, we would then press through that. It's going to be so cute. So does it look all it right? It does. It looks lovely. And then just iron straight onto it. Yeah, but you need to hold it on. So you don't want to move it around. You're going to kind of iron a section and you're going to hold it there for a good sort of 10 seconds or something. And then you can move it to another bit. The only thing we're not sure about is this label on there. Oh, I didn't have a label on mine. Can you see it's gone bobbly underneath? Yes, excellent. That's that what right? you want. Yeah. When I did my first one of these, I did. I thought I'd better play it safe, so I did it on a low heat Ooh. and through a press cloth. Ooh, What's that's what happens there? to the label. <laughs> but that's on the other side of the plastic, so that's yeah. okay. The label is just on the yeah. top side. But you've got to make sure that all of the little edges get a good sort of bit of heat because otherwise when you come to peel it off, you can accidentally peel the you miss a bit. transfer away with it because it's not quite stuck. But what we're going to do is peel it off gradually so that we can make sure everything's properly stuck on. Just if you want to just lift the corner on one of the edges, lift the plastic. I'm scared! Just lift the plastic and see if it looks like it's stuck underneath. No. Okay, it's not so stuck, we've just so. got to make sure we carry on. Oh, that, that is, yeah, okay, so that's good. So I do that top bit again. So we're giving it a little test, and you can see that we're just peeling it back. But Rachel's advice is to just do it really slowly. And if you feel any bits kind of catching, then give yeah. it another little blast. It's all those little like fine lines and things that mm -hmm. it struggles with a bit. But anything that is doesn't come away, anything that seems to be a bit harder to pull away from, it probably just means it's not ready and it just needs a little bit of extra. Heat. heat. I think the edge of the glasses needs a little bit extra cool. heat, so I'm just going to use the tip of the iron, giving it some concentrated heat. <laughs> But that's she's nice, isn't she? Yeah. Now I really we warn like you it. now. I warn you now. If you ever do yeah. a heat transfer, it's addictive. Yes. You will order hundreds. Stroke <laughs> yourself. <laughs> you will be thinking about all the people you can make them for, yeah. and all the presents you can give. So don't hold us responsible. No. Uh, if you end up making a hundred million of these, I love that. That's all on you. Yeah, it's awesome. So yes. I'm just going. It's always nice and snuggly as well. Yes. So here is your present for today. Advent. Do do do. And it's. So, um, yeah, it's great nice and polite. Let's just do that. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. It's not. Uh, it's not uh, monster munch bunting then. No, it's no monster munch <laughs> bunting, which is not good. Ooh. Oh, wow, very nice. Ooh, I like the mustard. Well, I oh, just know nice. we haven't got one that colour. No, no. And I like the it. thing I liked about this one is because it's crinkly. Yes. Then you can open it out and you can wear it like a like a full size. Skull. Yeah. Stick it off the thing. But as it shows you there. Oh yes. You can wear it lots of different ways. So if you open it out, then it can wear it as a full size scarf. Ooh. Because it's concertinas, it's really easy to kind of make small if you just yeah. want it to be 
Where are my hands? Yes! My <laughs> hands! <laughs> That's what we've just done. Okay. But it's lovely. It's gorgeous. Very nice. nice. Thank you. You're, You're very welcome. What a lovely present. Yeah. I thought we'd be doing very well this we year. <laughs> well, yes, so we must uh, actually, because I don't think we've ever said this to anybody, we're not buying each other Christmas presents. No. So Advent is our way of giving each other lots of little presents. Yes. Um, so there's no need for a big present to come Christmas. Yeah, because we don't, I, I think we don't do birthdays either, do we? We sometimes do no. things together. We do experiences. So we do experiences, but even then, it's only if there's something that we want to do because we spend so much time together we buy each other lunch all the time we buy each other things all the time and i just don't i just don't think we need it no, think, no you're enough with me got each other. i don't need oh. presents <laughs> <laughs> right so <laughs> that's it for today yes um, so. and tomorrow will be much the same that we haven't got any other kind of Fun activities or exciting Although, days out or anything planned. Have we're we? we're making a um, uh, garland for my making. table yes, tomorrow. So for my Christmas table, so we'll be making it with fresh um, bay and some which are all bushes like that. And we're going to make it for my got my table for Christmas table. So yes. you can see us doing that tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we've got some other making planned as well. So it's yes. going to be homely making, I think. Yes, in the run up to the yeah. Christmas. It's a big day. Two days because we're not far off. Yes. <laughs> so have a great evening and yeah. we will see you tomorrow. Bye.